I'm just trying to make it all make sense. Me. More. You. No. Podcast. So I've discussed concepts surrounding synchronicity in the past and how many things are connected and how experiences will connect and things that you learn and things that you hear and things that you're exposed to will be connected through your life. And when you notice this synchronicity and you notice how the universe is connected, it's not only empowering, but infinitely interesting. And yesterday was a prime example of synchronicity in action for me. So yesterday, during my morning reading, during a podcast I was listening to while working during the middle of the day, as well as my nighttime reading, it all mentioned the story of Abraham Lincoln and his story in the perspective of overcoming adversity. So most people have no idea how much adversity Abraham Lincoln had to go through and how many failures he faced in his life before he became president. Nowadays, he's known as one of the most recognized presidents in history, as well as being the pivotal leader in abolishing slavery and in giving black people freedom in our country. And because of those amazing things that he did, all of this adversity that he had to go through and all of these failures, they're largely ignored and unknown. So I'd like to go through a timeline of Abraham Lincoln's life with you so you can get an idea of all the adversity that he faced. So in 1831, he failed in business. In 1832, he was defeated in legislature. In 1833, he failed in business again. In 1834, he was elected to legislature. In 1835, his sweetheart and love of his life died. In 1836, he had a serious nervous breakdown. In 1838, he was defeated for speaker. In 1840, he was defeated for elector. In 1843, he was defeated for congressional nomination. In 1846, he was elected to Congress. In 1848, he was defeated for Congress. In 1855, he was defeated for Senate. In 1856, he was defeated for Vice President. In 1859, he was defeated for Senate. And then in 1860, he was elected President of the United States. So Abraham Lincoln faced major adversity 12 times in his life, and you could consider a 13th with him being assassinated. But what it comes down to is, is more than not throughout his life, he had to face failure and adversity and overcome it and and continue to persist and go through the process of creating a life of significance for himself, which he eventually did, becoming one of the most recognized presidents and one of the most pivotal presidents in our history, as I've said. And really, the only thing that he's remembered for at the end of the day. He faced adversity in his professional life, in his emotional and love life, and really just all throughout his life. But he never let it get to him. He never gave up, and he just continued to be resilient through his process of creating a life of significance for himself. It's very important to understand that your failures do not define you in life, and you can push past them and overcome them. And if you do, it really only takes one success to totally change your path. Abraham Lincoln kept losing elections, kept losing his political positions. He went through a nervous breakdown and lost the love of his life. But over a 20-year period or so, he also became president. And that's all that people remember him for. So don't get caught up in your failures and understand the importance of being able to overcome adversity. And understand that this is all part of the process when creating a life of significance for yourself. And use the understanding that your successes are what you're remembered for and not your failures as motivation as you go through the process of creating this path of significance for yourself. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it. Check out other episodes, leave a review, and follow us on social media at More You Know Pod. Also, please don't forget about our sweepstakes. Retweet a clip with the hashtag The More You Know and New Podcast from our Twitter for a chance to win a signed copy of my upcoming book, The More You Know, coming this fall. Tag two friends in the comments on a clip on Instagram for a chance to win a brand new copy of Dean Graziosi's Millionaire Mindset or Ed Milet's Max Out. Like us or share a clip on Facebook for a chance to win a book I have read that highly inspired me, signed by me with an inspirational message. Again, thank you for listening as we propel with podcasting through the more you know. I'm 
just trying to make it all make sense. They more you know podcast.